Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop with another review. This time, it's an aerial. I don't normally do aerials, but this is a DAB folded dipole type aerial. The reason I'm doing it is because I'm impressed. I bought one of these and uh, I stuck it up just, just actually on a fence post uh, outside the house, just on the fence post. And it worked so well, I bought another one. I'll tell you a bit about it. You've got, uh, first of all, what do you get? You get the aerial itself, of course. You get that, a mounting bracket. This is incredible. A pole, so you fix that to the wall. Okay, that's that. Fix that to the wall. Or, I mean, if you wanted to, if you want to put this on your chimney, if you've already got a mast up there for a TV aerial or something, clamp that to the mast on your chimney. So that's the aerial. It's uh, 15 metres of coax. It's all quite incredible, actually. A rubber boot that goes over the F connector on there. Okay, you can put put your F connector on, put that on the coax, then slide that over it to keep the water out. To be honest, what I do is put the F connector on, screw it on there, then I wrap self uh, self amalgamating tape around it, around the thread, the connector, and the coax, so it's 100% sealed. But uh, you've got the boot. I mean, you could put a bit of silica grease in there and then put the boot on. You also get this is never ending an F connector and a coax plug. So you've got everything. The connectors, the coax, the boot, the, the pole, this is for on the wall obviously, or fence post, um, the, mount, the bracket, the aerial. And the thing I like about this isn't just the price, at the time of recording this, on eBay this is $14.99. I mean, when I first saw it, that includes postage. When I first saw it, I thought, well that's going to be rubbish. <laughs> it's got to be, isn't it? 15 quid all in, postage as well, coax, everything. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll go for it. And when it turned up, I'm amazed. This tube here is not split. You know, some of them are split tube all the way around. This isn't. This is proper tube. It's well made. I am impressed. It really is well made. A nice aerial. And when I first put it up, I tried the radio, my dab radio. Now, bear in mind, the first one I put up was on the fence post. What, sort of seven feet above the ground, if that. I was getting, I'm in, uh, on, on the Sussex coast near Brighton. I was getting stations on DAB from Hampshire. I put a little bit of silicon grease around nuts and bolts and things like that, the, the casing here. I just put a bit of silicon grease everywhere. Around here, you do that up to clamp that. I put it around there just to keep the water out. Here we are, I'll put it on the screen for you. Digitalis, that's D-I-G-I-T-A-L, okay, digital, I-S, digitalis, um, direct, digitalisdirect.co.uk. It's actually ma manufactured by um, SAC Electronics. There we are in the UK. Where's there? There we are. You get all sorts of instructions with it as well, which is good. With a DAB aerial, mount it that way vertically, not horizontal. All DAB transmissions are vertical, so you want it that way. Um, take your coax there, bring the coax down and up so the water drips off there, then here and down your pole or wherever it's going. The reason I bought two, I put one of these up outside the, we've got a dab radio in the kitchen. Uh, I've just run the coax out through the wall to this on the fence post. Uh, we're also in the dining room, we've got a DAB FM tuner. So I'm going to stick this up on a pole out the back on the wall of the house. Um, not this pole, it's a, a pretty big pole for some amateur radio stuff actually. So I'm going to stick that up there, which would be rather good. I thought rather than buy a splitter and have to run coax all over the place, I'd just buy another aerial. So there we are, you won't be disappointed. And I'll tell you what, the sun's shining, so I'm going outside now and get the ladder out. I'm going to stick this up on my pole and uh, I might let you know how I get on with the next video. So, yeah, good luck with that if you're going to get one. I don't think you can go far wrong with this. Uh, uh, do you remember the other video I did it's got about putting F connectors on the back of your radio if you haven't got one? Have a look at that video. It's all about putting an F connector on the back because a lot of these radios don't have an F connector. Right, good luck with your aerial. Thanks for watching, as always. I shall see you next time. Bye-bye for now.